I always wanted to be a freshman in college in a dorm, living that kind of a lifestyle where I'm not um, living above my parents. <laughs> The thing is realize your potential, understanding yourself, introspecting and understanding your purpose. So, and CSM helped me accomplish that. I'm still getting used to this whole idea of uh, talking to a camera. <laughs> it's a little strange. What's the most challenging thing for me in school right now? I would say the classes because you need those core classes that you learn in high school. I just wasn't prepared for college. Nothing really interesting happened today. I mean, I went to school today since I'm still a high school student. And I'm going to Belize next Friday, which is a week from today. A good teacher doesn't assign research papers to be due the day after spring break. You ever just have that feeling like like one day you're gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? Like I got that feeling. Talk about the truth, you know, and that's the integrity that I'm looking to, you know, bring back to the music game. So, yeah, that's my vision. I'm excited. Every day's a new day. Better day. Grow, learn. I woke up this morning to the sound of an awesome bird twerping. It was it, it was a legit twerp. It wasn't just a peep. It was a twerp. I play volleyball at CSM. We work. <laughs> so I love working out, <laughs> and I'm an athlete, oh. so I have to stay on top of it. I'm weird, but I'm gonna go run. I do a lot of drive videotaping. This is one of my only times where I'm actually free, you know, and I, I can actually like sit down and just think. I'm still living in Maryland, you know, same house with my parents of all people. My whole life I listened to my parents telling me what they wanted me to be. And... I never really knew, you know, and I still kind of don't know. For accounting class, one o'clock, I hate accounting so much, you know, just really hate it, like, what a passion, you know what I mean? I'm about to go into an SBA meeting, it's going to be long and vicious because people are filled with emotions and feelings and... <sighs> I want to be, uh, wealthy, <laughs> um, no, but actually, um, I'm trying to become an engineer. Um, I don't know, I like math and science a lot. It's what's easy for me. CSM wasn't my first choice of school. I always felt like, well, CSM's kind of a school for slackers and kids who don't want to go away to college. I came here and as a freshman, it's been a great year for me. I've been successful academically. I've had a great time on the volleyball court and I've made great friends. I could have gone to a university. Spent a whole lot of money. And what I did is I took two years off after high school. Traveled, traveled the globe, 
That was a good choice for me. <laughs> I need a two just to come here. I'm taking the cultures of the least class. Guatemala is over there. This is awesome because this is what I want to do with my life when I grow up. I want to be a marine biologist. I made the mistake of not bringing any sunglasses, as you can see. I got sunburned today. On my shoulders and Go to school so you can do what you want to do as far as your career. You know, hopefully when I finish my degree, I'll be able to do what I want to do and not do what I have to do. Really drew me in with the new nuclear engineering technology program, two-year program, and uh, it's a very good career opportunity. My major is business administration. I love marketing. I love advertising. It was between that or communications, public relations, but I chose marketing because I like pushing. Um, I like promoting. I like, um, you know, getting the word out there. I feel like a 13 year old when I say this, but I want to be a fucking rock star. Like, for real. I just want to play drums the rest of my life. If I wasn't going to be a rock star, I'd probably be a mechanic or HVAC man. CSM is definitely helping me with uh, my backup plan, heating and air conditioning, which hopefully I'll never have to actually do in my life. Well, I mean, I'm doing it now, but hopefully I won't have to anymore, ever. Got sunburn on my scalp, which just really sucks because it's like a big headache. There he is. They gave me this little little plant, but it numbs your mouth a little. This is what the Mayans use for medicine. Right now, I'm in, I'm a communications major, and I think that that basically translates into sales and marketing, and I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to sell things. I'm SCSM, trying to decide what I want to do and where I want to go in life. I know last semester I took biology um, to try to figure out if I wanted to go into um, the biological sciences or physical therapy. And now I'm taking sociology to decide if I want to become a sociologist or a relationship therapist or anything like that. So CSM really is allowing me to explore. Good morning. So, getting ready for school. So, I need to go brush my teeth and get ready. So. I feel like I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Like, I don't know. Everything's just pissing me off. It's about 7 or 7 a.m. First thing I thought of when I woke up this morning is why the hell was I up that early? Why can't it be spring break already? Getting my shave on, getting ready for the day. This morning when I woke up, I just sat and did some readings, some extra readings for my English class for about an hour. One of my classes is a hospitality class and it's for front desk management. So we have to do like a sort of like an intern. So I'm here bright and early 
eight o'clock in the morning. I mean, I love making music. It's, it's the one thing that I've actually like found myself to be good at. What better way to express yourself than do something creative? On my way to work, just came back from Starbucks. Today is Sunday, I'm gonna get some extra cash and I'm just trimming this one horse's feet. This is just kind of an awkward position. I live off my computer, like I live off of it. I'm, I'm working on my art appreciation scrap vlog. Even though I'm not gonna be an art major, something new I get to learn about. Dorothea Ling and the Great Depression. That's my topic. I've also got a job which is pretty much uh, paying for my gas money, which is a little bit ridiculous since I have class in Leonardtown, La Plata, and Prince Frederick. So I'm driving a couple hundred miles each week. The gas, the gas is whipping my butt. You see this? Oh my word. This is outside our door. We're in a plane and we're gonna take off right now. Um, you probably can't hear me to save my life. Are you on the microphone? No. We're going to Ambergris Key. Oh, I guess I could tell you what they do with these leaves. They send them to the colony for something to eat them, and then it, they poop it out and let it ferment until it turns into a white fungus that feeds the colony. See, huh? Bet you didn't know that. I don't have any free time, usually. And if I do have free time, I'm sleeping. Uh, <laughs> wish I had free time. Then guess what? Yeah, you know. I came to work. <laughs> Our outline for the papers due. So I just got my um, paper printed out, uh, the, well the outline, and I put it in my folder. And then I put it all in my black bag and I put it on the ground right there. So that's what I take to school tomorrow. I usually like to make sure I have all my online stuff done on Sunday. Make sure that I'm ready for the week. And then in the morning, I just get up, get dressed. I'm in sociology with my term paper friend, Kayla. Hi. So we're turning in our outline today. So hopefully we're getting A. My major is hospitality and I work. I used to work two jobs. I only work one job right now. I'm SGA president, SA president for Prince Persia. I'm National Society of Minorities and Hospitalities president. I'm just a all around busy person. I go back to Prince Frederick, I'll probably work out a little bit, and then I'll have accounting tutoring. I just played golf with my coach. It went well. Uh, Ned Spearbeck is the man. So I shot even par. He shot two over, so I beat Ned, and that was pretty sweet. I'm really psyched that I beat Ned, because he's a really good golfer. I'm going to go get some food, because I'm starving, and my lips are chapped. You can probably tell they're red hot. I do HVAC, which is heating and air conditioning, and I also work at Lido's part-time, cooking burgers and making pizzas. Work, work. Work, 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 work. I'm doing homework, and I've been doing homework for a while, or at least trying to. Right now I'm taking notes for uh, a test that I have coming up, a journal entry to do, and then I have a lab to do, and that's all I'll do within a few days, and I have some papers I have to do. Do some homework. So I gotta stay on top of it. Um, and no school tomorrow, yay! Tomorrow's Friday. We're gonna play some cards tonight. And then we're gonna play some Nazi zombies. I can't stay home all day and do absolutely nothing. I like to be busy. I'm going out tonight and we're gonna go see a movie and have a good night.
So I'm about to get off of work soon. Uh, I'm just waiting for my manager to count all the cash. Cash money. But anyways, speaking of cash, cash. That's what you need to go to school. Lots of it. Um, but an easier way to do that is to get scholarships. Huh? My first year of college, I got three scholarships. I got a scholarship for $750. Um, I got that from some law firm. Getting it was actually a lot easier than you'd think. A little bit of paperwork, not very difficult at all. My grandma pays for my college. She really wants me to get my degree. That was very easily, easily done. I had an interview with them. And I'm one. 40 at one job and you know, 30 to 40 at the other job. That's how I'm paying for college right there. Until I transfer or graduate from CSM, um, my parents will pay for it and then I pay for everything afterwards. Well, that's if it comes from my mom because I'm unemployed and I don't drive. Mom. So, I dream about my future all the time. My dream is to have a music empire and a DMV, um, be a major label, have labels up under me. My dreams are to become a great golfer like Anna Palmer. Sooner or later, my golf game is going to blossom into something incredible. And hopefully it'll happen while I'm still playing here. I want to be happy and successful with a career and a family. I want to be happy no matter what I do um, while making good money. So hopefully that'll work. I'm really aiming to get a job soon and uh, eventually be able to f afford my own house. Having some money, a girl, and my drum set. That right there. So you know, all three of those things make me happy. <laughs> I want to be a marine biologist slash biologist, which is like a zoology major. And um, one day you'll get to see the greatness of me working at a hotel or even owning my own hotel. This is the last recording for season vlog. Um, just wanted to say that even if CSM isn't where you want to go to school, or even if it is where you want to go to college, don't underestimate it. Um, it's a great experience. Uh, and I was one of the kids who I didn't want to go to CSM. It wasn't what I had in mind for myself, but it's actually turned out to be a really good experience for me. Big surprise for me was finding me. <laughs> I did not know that in the course of my life, God was gonna use CSM to help me find my purpose, help me out live, live my visions and live my dreams. Call it a crazy uh, dream or whatever, but I think I'll make it someday. I'll take that back. I know I'll make it someday. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to get all the air, all of me, just like from here up. Right here, this is gonna have to be edited out because that car alarm's going off. I developed a rash on my neck. I'm guessing it's from tuning with those like life fest song with all the funk from a billion people. Vlogging isn't really my thing, but it's whatever. I haven't been to class for a while. Oops, I don't think I was supposed to say that.
Whatever you're good at and whatever makes you happy, do that. Yeah.